I had a great time on this last week of my book tour in 2011. I began in Madison, Wisconsin, and took some time to see the Capitol there, which was all decorated for the holidays and for a recall vote. <laughs> it's a beautiful Capitol, and you can just walk right in. It's very accessible to the people. Then I gave a lecture that was standing room only at the REI in Madison. Thank you to them for hosting me. And I popped in at an independent bookstore in Madison, a room of one's own, and was pleased to see my books on the shelves there. I then went over to Milwaukee and gave a lecture south of the city at the Muskego Public Library, a beautiful library there. And I met up with a, a, a new friend, uh, Leanne, and her husband Bruce. Bruce is the director of the Milwaukee Zoo, and they took me behind the scenes, and I actually got to pet an, an octopus and uh, check out this wonderful zoo. And I also fed an Amazonian turtle. And just for reference, they love bananas. At least this one does. We spent some time in the big cat house. They have a gorgeous pair of jaguar and three brand new lion cubs that were playing around and wrestling. And Leanne drove me by this artist's house that is right by Lake Michigan. I then headed south to Chicago, where I gave lectures at all four of the Chicago Land REI stores. I thank them for welcoming me and for everyone who came out to hear my lecture about my adventure. I took some time to walk around Chicago. It's all decorated for the holidays. And if you've never been in the Tribune building, pop your head in the lobby next time you're there. They have these fantastic quotes about the importance of a free press. Uh, to our society. And if you know me at all, you know I must see art when I'm in the big city, so I stopped in at the MCA. I also stopped in at as many independent bookstores as possible and was delighted to find the book bin in Northbrook, north of Chicago. It was celebrating its 40th anniversary, so congratulations to them doing a great job in their community. My last event was at the bookstall at Chestnut Court in Winnetka. This is a fantastic bookstore. It's actually one that I stopped in on while actually on my hike in 2009. Great bookstore. I'd like to thank them for hosting me. And when I got back to the lake house where I'm staying, I was delighted to find out that Buffalo Books in New Buffalo has reopened. And Pete, the owner, is doing well. So please stop in and support your bookstores. In 2012, I will undertake another 1,000-mile adventure, one that allows me to touch all five Great Lakes. So if you'd like updates on this, please like my Facebook fan page, the Laureen Neuenheis Facebook fan page, or check out my website, laketrek.com. And I hope to see you along the way.